So I've been training for 11 years now and I actually started out being very skinny and struggled to build muscle. I was a football player when I was younger, very athletic, had abs, but I'd always been that short skinny guy that struggled to build muscle. And you know, in my early days, I made a lot of mistakes when trying to build muscle, right? Like I injured my shoulder from trying to bench press incorrectly. I went on some crazy, crazy diets. I was on some wild splits and I was even doing these like two hour long workouts, which were completely crazy. So after kind of training now for over a decade, there are some key principles that I follow that have actually elicited some incredible results. And in today's video, I'm actually going to share with you the 10 workout hacks that I use to build muscle faster. Now, if you stay until the end of the video as well, I have a free bonus for you. So make sure you stay until the end so you can get that bonus. Without further ado, let's dive straight into today's video. So the first workout hack is to actually rest more between sets. Most people, you know, they start out and they're resting for like 30 to 60 seconds and you can see them like speeding through each set. Well, that's not actually not going to be effective because it's going to cause buildup of lactic acid in your muscles and you're not going to be able to go into that set with full intensity because you're going to be fatigued. So I actually rest for like two to three minutes before a set, uh, between a set. Yeah, I know that seems like a lot, but this is going to allow your body to perform the next set with far less fatigue and at 100%. And if you can hit that next set at 100%, you're going to be able to lift more weight. You're going to help be able to lift more reps. You're going to be able to lift more overall volume. And that's going to allow you to build more muscle in the process. So a tip for that, I'd actually set a timer on your phone between sets of like two minutes and actually stick to that. If you stick to that, getting gains and lifting heavier is going to be so much easier. Tip number two is to actually train your muscle groups two times a week. And a big mistake that I made was uh, I went into the gym and started doing bro splits, right? So Monday would be like chest, Tuesday would be arms, Wednesday would be shoulders, Thursday would be like abs and cardio, and Friday would be legs. Well, maybe if I felt like doing it, right? There was kind of like, you know, I was always training one muscle group a week and there's strong research out there to show that if you train muscle groups two times a week, you're gonna get far better gains than training them once a week, right? Three times a week, there's no real difference. The sweet spot's actually two. And a reason for this is because of something called muscle protein synthesis and this is basically just the building blocks of muscle protein and these are elevated for 24 to 48 hours after you train so if you train chest on monday mps is elevated maybe until you know the the wednesday but then for the rest of the week it's actually not so training your muscle groups that maybe like a, a chest on a, a, a monday and then chest on a thursday actually going to help you get better results because your muscle protein synthesis is going to be elevated and in layman's terms that just means your capacity to build muscle is going to be elevated. And, you know, we want to keep that as high as possible throughout the course of the week. So in regards to splits, if you're training six days a week, I would actually do push, pull, legs, rest, repeat. If you're going to be doing four days a week, I would do upper body, lower body, rest, repeat. And if you're doing three days a week, I'll do full body three times a week with a rest in between each workout. This is just going to ensure that you're training muscle groups two times a week and you're going to be able to make progress and make gains. So tip number three is to ensure that you brace your core. Now, a lot of people, and I myself did this wrong, most people brace incorrectly. Like they inhale with their chest, which actually makes you weaker, right? If you're inhaling to your chest, you're not tight, you're not stable, and you're not going to be strong during your heavy lifts. What I'd actually recommend is actually to take a deep breath and actually brace your abdominals, right? From the midsection during an exercise. Now, when you do that, for example on, on the bench press or a squat it's going to tighten you up which means you're going to be able to perform the movement with much stricter form and with much more power and if you do that you're obviously going to build more muscle and get stronger so that's a really good tip one thing that you shouldn't do right is hold your breath during like a full set and i see people do this a lot i did it before and you're doing 10 reps and you don't breathe you're gonna pass the fuck out if you do that it's not healthy so definitely don't do that make sure you exhale after a rep and if you do that while bracing your core you're gonna build muscle and you're gonna get stronger tip number four is to ensure that you slow down your lifts so many people so so many lift with improper form go into your local gym and you're going to see people you know lifting the, the, their, their weights as fast as possible like this right and the issue with that is you're not mastering form or tempo and you're not getting enough time under tension for your muscles to actually tear and then to obviously repair and grow so i'd actually recommend following a 301 tempo right so when you come down i want you to think of three seconds as a muscle's length and then when you're pushing back up, uh, zero second pause at the bottom if you're doing a bench press. And then when you're coming back up, it's one second, three, zero, one. And you can apply this to any exercise, squat, bench, deadlift, whatever it is. Now, if you do that, that is going to yield way better results and ensure that your muscle is going to be lengthening and explosive when it's shortening, uh, which is going to allow you to get results. So really focus on slowing down those reps if you want to build more muscle. Tip number five is to cut your workout time down. 
And again, this was a huge mistake that I made. I was doing two hour long workouts, doing as much exercise and as much volume as possible because I thought that the more that I did, the more muscle I gained. But that's not quite true. You know, research shows that after a certain point, it's a law of diminishing return for your gains if you're actually you know, lifting with this junk volume. So instead, I would actually stick to like five to six exercises per workout, maximum two to three sets, and then lift intensely for 60 minutes. This is actually how you maximize muscle growth. And this is also going to allow you to recover for your next session a lot better. You're not going to be so fatigued. You're not going to be so tired. You're not going to be so burnt out because you've cut your workout down to an optimal amount. So tip number six is to focus on the mind-muscle connection. Now, I get people come to me and they're like, oh, I can't feel my back during doing a workout. And the reason being is you're not thinking or you know, you're not focusing on your back when you're doing that. You, your mind and muscle need to connect. So if you're doing like a row, for example, you wanna focus on the muscle that you're training, which is obviously your back. And when you do this, your mind activates the muscle and this helps you make a connection so much more intensely. If you're not thinking about the muscle, you're thinking about something else, what's for dinner, all this kind of stuff, you're not present and your muscles are just not gonna be interconnected and you're not gonna get the results. So I highly recommend that you have a mind-muscle connection. And this goes with slowing down you know, the reps. If you slow down those reps, that mind-muscle connection is gonna be so much easier, all right? So yeah, that's tip number six. Tip number seven is to stop program hopping. My God. This was huge for me. I would try loads of different people's workouts. I would see Steve Cook doing something. I would do his workout one week. I'd see Christian Guzman doing another workout. I'd follow his. Then I'd follow Chris Jones and see what he was doing and do his. And the problem was because I kept changing, I wasn't getting better on any exercises. I was just kind of like mastering nothing, but trying to do everything, which is just not effective. So I'd actually recommend sticking to one program for six months, something that's sustainable for you, whether it's a four day a week, six day a week, whatever it is, stick to that and then get stronger. Because what that's going to allow you to do is get stronger on those movements, get really good at the motor patterns, and then the progress is going to compound because you're going to be able to lift more sets, more reps, and more rest periods. And you're just going to build way more muscle as a result. Tip number eight is to ensure that you stretch more. All right. And I, as I've got older, have found that the better stretching that I do, the more muscle that I'm actually building. The reason being is there's less tightness within my body and less stress. So when you're tight, your range of motion is going to be less. So your muscles can't actually lengthen and shorten properly because, you know, you're so tight. It also increases the risk of injury. You also feel tight. You have less motivation to train. So trying to do like a 10 minute stretch, you know, every morning, if you've got the time is a great thing to do. I've actually got a full mobility video here that you can watch. Click on this, follow this. It's fantastic and it will alleviate tightness. It's also going to help improve your posture as well. If you're someone that's an entrepreneur or a high performer that sits at a desk a lot, then this is really going to help alleviate that stress, alleviate that tightness and allow you to lift more, which is going to help you build more, more muscle. Tip number nine is to ensure that you track your lifts. How many times, right? How many times do you see people go into a gym and they're like, okay, maybe I did this weight last week. I don't know. I'm doing a lap pull down again. I think it, was, it feels the same. Most people are terrible at actually judging what they've done. And if you're busy, you probably forgot. If you don't know what you lifted the week before, you've got no chance of getting stronger, okay? So I'd actually recommend logging your workouts each week through an app called Strong, the Strong app. It's amazing. It's gonna basically record the weights that you did the, the week before. And it's completely free that you can download off the app store. So that's that's going to help you lift more sets, more reps, and more weight over time. And that's going to help you build more, build more muscle because you're actually going to be able to track and see what you've been doing. That is going to be a game changer. Okay, so tip number 10 is to ensure that you stop training to failure. Now, this is quite a controversial one because a lot of the bodybuilding community, this kind of go hard, go home, think you need to train to failure to get results. The truth is you just need to be training close to it, right? You need to be progressively getting stronger. Like people, they make the mistake of either being too extreme, like training to absolute failure on every set. That's going to ruin your central nervous system them, you're not going to recover properly then you also have the people that are like too soft they don't lift you know heavy enough or close enough to failure so what i'd actually recommend is lifting with an rpe of nine well, what does that mean? Lift him with one rep left in the tank. So if you select a weight and you feel that you can do a certain amount of reps with it, whatever you can do with one rep left in the tank, that is a good weight to do. And this is going to ensure that you lift safely while getting stronger because you're cl training close enough to failure. And this is going to allow you to progress, not get injured and all of those kinds of things. So those are my 10 tips and workout hacks to help you build muscle faster. Now, if you follow these tips, you're going to get great results. You're also going to get even better results by my free bonus. So I've actually got a free busy guy strength and size program that you guys can download hit the link in the description and in the comments and you can actually download that for free it's a full 12 week program one that i've actually used to build the most muscle on my body ever and it's also going to come with some sleep tips and some nutrition tips as well completely free so make sure that you give that a download and that's going to get you some great results thank you for watching today's video we will see you in the next one